Aroma's Hivarma's mind was greatly disturbed. The main reason for this was that the pace of turmoil in the Chola country regarding the right to kingdom was increasing day by day. Wherever he went to pacify the people, the fury of the people increased. Pawnee's lord is our king. Blessed benevolence, you must burn your crown. Slogans like Competing with these, long live the aboriginal people. Down with the tyrant Kajum Balarvelar. Slogans like are also heard in some places. If the prince approached such places to find more strength, immediately the people there would cry out, Long live the lord of Pawnee. They started chanting. Why? Even the Palvur soldiers, who had been reassigned to guard the fort, abandoned their old slogans when they saw Pawnee's Selvara and shouted, Aromas Hivarmur Thirumudi Pani Yamavala. Long live the brave warrior, Bonnie's Selvar Niduzi. They shouted. Thus, not only did his efforts not succeed among the common people and the soldiers, but Pawnee's Selvar was embarrassed to see that the situation against his opinion was getting stronger. Madhurand Hakativar was not seen for a few days, adding to his anxiety. For this he was aware that the petty villain Kajum Balar was accusing Velar. It cannot be said that there is no reason for it. Aromas Hivar himself was not without some doubt about it. Kajum Balar Velar and Thiruko Valar Malay Aman were adamant that they should be given titles. It seemed that Prime Minister Anuradhar was conspiring with them. All of them together have hidden Madhurand Hakativar somewhere. What? Or perhaps they have endangered the life of Madhurand Hakatev. Vilara and Malay Aman held that the Palyavatarayas and the Sambhavarayas were responsible for the death of his great uncle Aditha Kari Kalar. Did they do any harm to Madhurand Hakar thinking that they would take revenge for that? Aha! Uh -huh. What to them? They do something without thinking. In the end all the blame rests on his own head or not. Today the Chola people greet him by his name. They force him to mount the lion. Will the mind of the common people be like this? Aren't people's hearts often bored? These same people will blame him tomorrow. Even if they say that Chitapan was the bad guy who killed Madhurand Hagen to climb the lion. Why? At the Kadampur mansion. Aditha Kari Kalar would even blame himself for his death. God! Did Goddess Mandakini save me from drowning in Kaveri to bear such terrible blame? Today, that goddess who is a goddess should save me from this predicament. The most deadly disgrace one can face in life is to be graciously restrained from me. Aromas Hivarman had the stories of close relatives killing each other in the royal dynasty of Elan and leaving behind to ascend the throne. Therefore, the thought that such ignominious infamy might reach him caused him unbearable pain. If you can confide in someone and ask for advice, no one seems worthy of that. It seemed that everyone around him was conspiring against him. Some of them had indeed sinned against him. And some, thinking they were doing him good, were endeavouring to lay the terrible blame upon his head. In this situation, he could not decide whom to trust and whom to confide in and ask for advice. Why? He has lost faith even in Tamaka Kundave Prati, who loves him incomparably and deserves his devotion. He also seemed to be doing something without his knowledge. Why? Isn't Vanadika, who lives for his life, trying to hide something without his knowledge? She goes somewhere stealthily and comes back with a mysterious look on her face. Aromas Hivarma decided that he could tolerate anything else but Vanatha's mysterious behavior could no longer be tolerated. He noticed Vanati looking around and leaving somewhere alone. He immediately followed her without knowing her. Passing through the corridors of the upper floors of the palace, and then down into the lower floors, Vanati made her way further and further along the secret passageway flanked by high walls. Assuming that she was going to the place where Madhurand Hagar was secretly imprisoned, Aromas Hivarma followed her with great interest and fury. At last, Vanati reached another large part of the palace where she entered a room and tried to slam the door. Then Aromas Hivarma ran and put a leg inside the room as Vanatha could not close the door. He gripped her hand as she tried to close the door, Vanati. Your stealth will not work against me. Who are you hiding in this room? He asked angrily. Vanadio said with a smile on his face, Sir, 
indeed my stealth has paid off. You would not have come if I had called. Come in and see for yourself who is here. She said. Aromas Hivarmar, who went to look for Madhuran Hakativa, was surprised and delighted to see Valavera and Vandiyathava lying on the bed. Seeing him, Vandiyathavan sat upright on the bed and said, Sir. Come. I have been waiting for you for two days. Free me somehow from the prison of these women. He said. Pani Selvar hurried and sat next to Vandiyathavan, friend. What is this? How did you come here? How did you, who escaped from the underground prison, end up in the prison of these women? I thought you would stay in Elam all this time? I thought I could come there and join you for a few days. Said. Yes, Prince. I should have been in the country of Ela for so long. I should have been searching for the pearls of the Pandya dynasty and the golden necklace given to them by Indra. I fell into this misery trying to prevent the Vedic madman Amutha from being killed by the son of the physician. I fell unconscious when Pinyagapani's spear fell on me. I did not know that I had arrived. Please help me to escape from here. Otherwise, they will blame me in vain for having killed their dear brother and my dear leader Aditha Kari Kalar. Vandiyathevan said. Vanati interrupted and said, Sir. What he is saying is wrong. Only if he runs away will such blame fall on him. It is the wish of His Highness that he should remain here in secret until the truth is revealed. There is truth in what she says. You will be blamed for it if you try to run away. It may catch me too. Better to prove to the world what really happened than that. First, tell me. Tell me in detail everything that happened in Katapur. Said Pani Selvar. Vandiyathevan also told everything that happened as per his knowledge. Even after hearing everything, the prince could not determine how Aditya Karakalar's death happened.